Hey there, if you are a regular viewer of my videos then you might be seeing my clock videos like the pixel clock, Wi-Fi clock, OLED clock and 10 segment clock etc. I like DIY clocks. Today I am also going to build a clock. This time I am going to use 801085 and NeoPixel LEDs to build the clock. Here you can see the clock and we can change the color, brightness and time using the button. If you are interested to build a similar clock then watch this video. So let's get started with this video. First I selected the near pixels for the clock because we need only one pin to control these all LEDs and we can simply display different colors. To display a digit we need at least 5 rows and 3 columns of LEDs. So that way I designed one digit segment like this. That is we need 13 LEDs for one digit and we have 4 digit which is a total of 52 neo pixels. Also I added 2 more LEDs for the second indication. I added DS1307RTCIC to the circuit for saving time. Soldering of this 54 LEDs and other components with the hand is not practical. So I converted the circuit into a PCB. So first I arranged the LEDs on the top side of the PCB. Then in the bottom layer I arranged all other components and finished the PCB design. After finishing the design our PCB looks like this. So next I generated and downloaded the Gerber for PCB fabrication. To fabricate the PCBs I went to jlcpcb.com. JLCPCB offers only $2 for 5 awesome PCBs and their PCB assembly starts from $0. To order the PCB just click on order now and upload the Gerber file. Then you can select the color, thickness, quantity etc. In this case I chose purple color. After that I selected the shipping method and placed the order. After 2 weeks I received the PCBs and you can see the PCBs. And the purple color PCBs looks great and the quality is super. So first I grab the NeoPixel LEDs. We have to solder the 54 LEDs to the PCB. By doing that by hand makes pain. So I decided to use the reflow method. First I dispense the solder paste with the After finished the soldering job, I connected the SPI pins of ATtiny to Arduino and programmed the ATtiny85. Now I connected the battery to the clock and here you can see the result. It is working perfectly but you can see that the LED light diffuses together and gives out mixed light. So to separate this I designed an enclosure in Tinkercad. We have three different 3D parts. The base with the LED 
the back cover and the front panel. I 3D printed the design using my Enter 3 V2. Next I desoldered the button and switch from the clock PCB and connected flexible wires to it. Then I soldered the switch and button and insert the NeoPixel PCB into the jig. Here I added TP4056 charging module to the lithium ion battery and connected it. On the back cover, I glued TP4056 charging module, the push button and the switch. 